Now, look, let's start with Meghan Markle. Why not? So the couple have been begging for privacy and South Park has done a parody of this and apparently it has really upset Meghan Markle. She's apparently spent days being upset and overwhelmed, according to sources, over this parody which picks apart all of their publicity blitz while at the same time begging for privacy. What do you think about this, Gemma? I think South Park is genius. I think it's brilliant how this one little cartoon um, has managed to continue to be irreverent, to continue to poke the bear the way that it has, and it, it gets away with it. And I, and I just, I feel a great deal of, um, em not empathy, but I feel sorry for Harry and Meghan. They've obviously got such a lack of perspective about life. Like try being, try laughing at it. Have a, have a, have a stock take of how much you have to yeah. be grateful for. I mean, what a ridiculous thing to be upset about. You've made it. You're on South Park. How brilliant. Yeah. Do you know what? I, on, while I was on maternity leave, I actually read Harry's book and I also watched the documentary. Yes. And I had a different view to most of the hosts here on Sky News, right. which is that, you know, when you read their story, you can, you can understand Harry's side of it. You can see why he's been so upset. I mean, that's not to take a, away from the hypocrisy and her diva-like behaviour and all of that. But you can understand, um, Aaron, you know, why they feel like they had such tough treatment by the royal family. But then you've got to be able to take criticism. I mean, you can't be a global Hollywood celebrity like Meghan Markle is and get upset about this, a cartoon. Yeah, look, it's, it, it's just... It, it diminishes what little sympathy there is left so Meghan Markle true. by doing this. But, but Do you I th still think there's little sympathy even after the book and the documentary? I haven't read the book, but I hear it's pretty good. It's an am amazing read because of the ghostwriter. The ghostwriter is, you know, one of the, the best authors in the world. Well, one thing, th the real problem here is that um, Meghan is an outsider to the royal family and that was seen as a positive thing. But when you're outside, you don't understand the unwritten rules. You don't understand how to be differential. You don't understand how what they call the firm really operates. And see, so she went in there thinking she would be treated as a spouse and as an equal and as a strong oh, woman. come on. Oh, come on. I just... If you, I had to watch the docu as well because I wrote a column about it for The Australian. So at least I got, you know, remunerated for my efforts. But I, I, I watched it and thought... You know, these, they're so, any which way you slice it and dice it, they're so blessed. They're so lucky. They, they are. And, and there was a lot of complaining.